What's up traders? Welcome to another section of the Greatness Forest Academy. In this section, we want to quickly take a review of the pairs we added to our watch list last week as well as the pairs we have running for the previous week. So without wasting much of your time, let's get straight into the chart and see what we've got. Now, okay, we added just Euro USD and GBPJPY to our watch list last week, both for a long opportunity, and we did that because we don't want to trade related pairs. Though we took some other trades, some short trades, which I will explain shortly. So without wasting your time, let's first of all check the pairs we have running for the previous week and see those that has hit our take profit and those that has hit us hit us out break even. For Euro card, okay, let's switch to the four hour time frame, which is our entry time frame. Okay, for Euro card, okay, it's still running. Okay. Okay, Euro card is still running risk free. This was the region we actually placed this um this uh, two here because this resistance, if this resistance hold, we would have closed this trade manually. But as you can see, it broke above it at the market is currently going to a overall target for at least for a one to five point three four risks to reward. Currently, we already have about one to three risks to reward. You can close this trade if you don't wish to hold with us anymore. For card JPY, there was something I noticed during the week that um, most JPY pairs started, started falling heavily. And as you can see, card JPY, it almost hit us at break even. But as you can see, it has started going to the downside as we expected it to. So we are getting about a 1 to 2 risks to reward already now. If you get to 1 to 3, you can close if you wish to. But we are targeting a 1 to 4.48 risks to reward. Uh, AUDJPY also it was falling as well. It hit us at break even after which it started falling. I think I took this straight from here during the week on Thursday. I took this straight from here. And my entry reason I can't explain here now, but I took this straight from here during the week. So this um USDJPY, NZDJPY, and AUDJPY were some on the trade we traded. We took during the week apart from the ones we added to our watch list so this one hit us at break even meaning we had no loss here you can remove it from the watch list and also delete this position too um okay the next pair we had running for the previous week was excuse me okay the next pair we had running for the previous week was usd chf USCHF, okay. USCHF hits our uh, overall target, take profit hit. We had it running for a 1 to 7.2 risks to reward, and as you can see, it hit our take profit already. And um, we can as well remove this from watch list as it has hit our take profit. And we can take off this red flag. Euro card. What do we have in Euro card? Okay, sorry, we having a network, pretty bad network. Okay, we already checked Euro card. This was the first pair we checked for card JPY. Card JPY, the same scenario, we already checked it falling. Card CHF uh, correlated with USD CHF, it should be falling, but as you can see, it hasn't hit our overall target because this was for a 1 to 10 risks to reward. If, as you can see, it has given us about that's giving us about one to four risks to reward. Okay, one to four point six four risks to reward, but our overall target is one to ten risks to reward, which we are still looking up to. So we are still holding this trade for a one to ten risks to reward. If you wish to close, already got to one to four, you can close with profit or you can leave it to run to your overall target, which is one to ten. And finally, the pair we had running for last week was also Eurozar. Eurozar hit us at break even, meaning there was no loss here. What does this mean? Um, okay, there was a reason for this move, which um, the students only will understand. This would have been easier if I made the video for the COT on Wednesday. You would have understood all this. But something else came up and I couldn't make the video on Wednesday. I'm very sorry for that. 
for this coming one as they expect this CO2 video so we can uh, remove this from our watch list and delete this position to as well this hit us at break even meaning no loss so overall we have euro card running card jpy running card chf running and usd chf hits our take profit we want to sell risk to reward totally we have no loss so far this month no loss but good reward and as for euro usd that we added to our watch list last week okay our entry as you can see we had it for a one to seven point four eight risk to reward and currently we already have about one to four risks to reward so if you wish to close for a four reward you can close now as we already have a one to four risk to reward immediately the market open if you still wish to hold it to our barrel target which is a one to seven point four eight risk to reward you can hold okay um uh, the cot video if i had uploaded the cot video on um Wednesday, you would have seen the reason for this long opportunity. However, technically, I ask you all to look for long opportunity, and fundamentally, due to COT, COT respected the technical analysis and they all went the same way as you can see. It was an impulse correction. This correction is corrected with just one bearish candle, which would be obvious from the forward time frame, and after which the markets are moving with impulse to the upside. As you can see, it's corrected with one candle from the daily, and it's very obvious here. It was consolidating here. And so many persons trading with the one hour or 15 minutes time frame would have been out of this trade, or would have been uh, is it that they are out with loss, or they will feel this is a consolidated market? Let me not trade it before anything happened. And as you can see, the move started suddenly. But those from the four hour time frame and daily time frame, we know. This is a, that is not just a consolidation, but just a retracement from the daily time frame as you all have seen. So this is EURUSD running for a 1 to 7.48 risk, risk to reward. And currently we have gotten a 1 to 4 risk to reward. And as for GBPJPY, for those who haven't entered GBPJPY, I think there's just an opportunity for you to trade it. I'll show you the opportunity again for those in already hold your trade as you can see it's risk free already even euro usd we are risk free already so is it that he toss out break even on go to our right target though he tried to form a double top here and formation but however the market is disrespecting it due to daily time frame now for those who are not yet in the trade let me show you something in case you wish to join why for those who are in the trade already if you wish to compound that is add other position as you can see the market already broke this level of resistance now turn support and the close it closed with a bullish depletion and as you can see the bears are in charge of sorry the sorry it closed with the bearish depletion as you can see the bulls are in charge of the market you can see the rejection from the week which some people will call a shooting uh, a shooting star or oh, sorry a hammer those using candlestick uh, confirmation and this is a signal that the next move should go to the upside. However, we won't take this trade or compound it if we are not if our entry uh, reason is not confirmed from the forward time frame. But if you are not yet in the trade, this is also an opportunity for you to join this GPPJPYF to this top before it starts coming to the downside again. So this is all for now. This is a review for last week best. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, invite your friends and family to this channel so as to get free forest education which others are paying for and also join our telegram channel for free forest education through articles and our website also through articles, our facebook page, telegram and so on and so forth and help us share so we can grow together for we have more goodies for you as we are growing but we want to create a community of at least a thousand traders first or a thousand subscribers first let me put it that way if we can hit a thousand subscribers bet me everything we have for you we start unleashing we have great plans for you which no other person will give you for free but we don't want to just start giving it out now we want to hit at least a thousand subscribers or more both on telegram and on youtube so that everything will go well and uh, at the end of the day everyone will be happy so thanks for watching do have a blessed and a peaceful week ahead god bless